Women Novelists of the Victorian Era The Victorian era is known for the galaxy of female novelists. Some of them belonged to the 18th as well as the 19th century. But Jane Austen perhaps is the best women novelist of the Victorian age. There were some novelists who need some special attention for their precious contribution to the Victorian novel. But as for the rest, their place in history of English literature appears to be secure and stable enough. The most important women novelists of the Victorian era are Charlotte Bronte, Anne Bronte, Emily Bronte, George Eliot, and Mrs. Elizabeth Gaskell. The three Bronte sisters Anne, Charlotte, and Emily collectively known after as the Story Sisterhood took the England of the time by storm. They were in actual life shy and isolated girls with rather uneventful life. All of them died young of tuberculosis. Charlotte Bronte wrote four novels, The Professor, Villette, Jane Eyre, and Shirley. The Professor and Villette were based on her own personal experiences at a boarding house, where she most probably fell in love with Belgian scholar. Charlotte Bronte in her novels revolted against the tradition. Her novels are the novels not of manners but of passions and the naked soul. Her characters are mostly the effusions of her own soul. They are elemental figures acting in the backdrop of elemental nature. The three main characteristics of Charlotte Bronte's novels are, the note of intimacy, passion, and revolt. Matthew Arnold commented in his letter, her mind contained nothing but hunger, rebellion and rage. Harriet Martineau criticized Charlotte Bronte and stated Villette dealt excessively with the need of being loved, and was passionately anti-Catholic. Charlotte Bronte produced her works under the pseudonym of Cara Bell. Jean Rhys Wide Sargasso Sea is a prequel of Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre. The novel is written from the point of view of Bertha Mason rather than Rochester. Emily Bronte was a poet and a novelist, she published her works under the pseudonym of Ellis Bell. She wrote Wuthering Heights. It is Emily Bronte's only novel. Wuthering Heights was published in 1847. There is a fine handling of gothic and romantic elements in the novel. There is no other work which contains so many of the troubled, tumultuous, and rebellious elements of romanticism. She looks like a Byron in Petticoat. The central fact about Emily Bronte is that she is a mystic. The Bronte sisters imparted the romantic note of imagination and passion to English novel. They were not interested in the portrayal of social life rather they chose to study the feminine heart and presented the women's point of view in their fiction. Their forte is characterization and not plot construction. The Bronte sisters poetized the English novel, there are passages that almost bordered on poetry. Another most important contribution of Bronte sisters is the presentation of the life of Yorkshire, and its rich and beautiful nature background. Anne Bronte produced Agnes Grey in 1847. It presents Anne Bronte's views on education and Christianity. The novel appeared under the pseudonym Acton Bell. Anne Bronte's recollections of her experiences with the overindulged children and worthily older children of the Ingham family in Rowhead and Robinson family at York are vividly portrayed in this novel. Anne Bronte's famous novel The Tenant of Wildfell Hall was produced in 1848. The novel is written in the first-person point of view and Gilbert Markham is the narrator. The novel has a complex epistolary and diary structure. According to Charlotte Bronte the character of Huntingdon is based on their brother Branwell. George Eliot stands at the gateway between the old novel and the new one. She was essentially a novelist of intellectual life and her psychological insight into human motives, and springs of action is deep and profound. Her famous novels are Radham Bede, Silas Marner, Middlemarch, Romola, and Mill on the Floss. George Eliot is a psychological novelist who tried to pierce behind the show of things and to reveal the forces by which they are controlled. She was a rationalist and philosophic thinker. Even her humor is tinged with philosophical reflectiveness. Most of the novels of George Eliot are marked with extreme seriousness of purpose and execution. 
she looks at the world from the point of view of women. The heroines of her novels are more vividly and convincingly drawn than her heroes. The women are far superior to their lovers. Her serious concern with the problems the human personality and its relationship with the forces outside herself, her detailed interest in psychological analysis of the realms of the inner consciousness did much to determine the future course of English novel. She is one of those novelists who use the novel as an instrument of social reform. Elizabeth Gaskell's famous novels include Mary Barton, North and South, Ruth, Wives and Daughters, Cranford, and Sylvia's Lover. Her novels do not display the passions and frustrations like the novels by Bronte sisters. Her sense of humor, deep social consciousness, zeal for social reform and true observations, pictures of the Victorian society make her novels readable and valuable to the readers.